What's going on guys? Today, we're finally going to put the motor in. It only took, I'm going to spare you guys the <laughs> three hours or whatever it was I just spent out here uh, welding nuts on and drilling out and doing everything to get that bell housing bolt out that broke off. We are now ready to go ahead and throw this thing in. We've got to change out the flex plate, the rear timing cover. We're gonna do all that and then we're gonna start setting the motor in. It is your king here to bring you today's video sponsor announcement. Raid Shadow Legends has taken over and gaming will never be the same. The first game to bring a true console level play to your cell phone experience. They've set the bar high and there is no going back. Explore millions of champion combination and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and player vs player arena matches. Use my QR code or links below to download raid yourself for your mobile phone or PC. The game has over 600 plus champions, but these are my favorites. The first one is a legendary Cleopteryx. The Cleopteryx is a pretty strong attack champion, and better yet, she's available to everyone through daily login rewards. With her default skill, she attacks one enemy and has a chance to place a weakened debuff on him. The next is Necrit the Great. Necrit is truly justifying his nickname. He is great. He's a universal fighter that has found his place everywhere in the game, including the PvP arena. With his first skill set, he attacks one enemy three times with a chance to place decreased attack on each hit. What I like about the game is the epic campaign mode that's reminiscent of playing the old RPG games I played as a kid growing up. The fastest way to level up your champions is through farming the campaign. You grind XP and get loads of silver and a few artifacts at the same time. There's a ton happening in Raid this month. Raid's currently running a special on Deliana Chase where new and existing players can get their hands on the amazing Deliana, a brand new legendary champion. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and July 20th. But that's not all. All new players, listen up. Once you're in game, just enter promo code MYDELIANA to max your legendary hero Deliana to level 50 as well as a ton of silver. There's never been a better time to get started. All new players, hit the link in the description below and get a free starter pack worth almost $40 to kickstart your game. You'll get three free champions. We're talking Misericord, Tiger Soul, and Romero all for free. We need a little lower on the prop. There are we. Raid Shadow Legends. Download it now. I'm excited. The Nova is going to run again. Fool's Gold is coming back. We're going to a stock block shootout. A broken off bolt almost killed me today. <laughs> but it didn't. So let's put this motor in and then go make street hits in the Nova again.
Alright, you just slow it down. Nah, it don't matter. You just drop it. Motor mounts right now. Get this thing up out of here. Suck that thing up out. We got a motor again. Oh man. Which means we're only about. I mean, this thing should fire up tonight. Even if I don't have everything to. I'm not sure about the alternator stuff or anything else. Uh, we'll at least fire it up and get it going. Which means we're going racing tomorrow. Alright, we are. Rocking and rolling. We have got the motor is in, bell housing bolts in, torque, uh, torque converters hooked up. We've got the headers on. We're getting ready to throw the intake on. The intake is all complete. It's got the carb, everything on it. So we'll be throwing the intake on, do all the ignition stuff. Uh, we've got to hook the alternator up. We've got to get that on there and everything so we can have the water pump going. We are probably 30-ish minutes from firing this thing up for the first time. We're very, very close. So we're going to keep working on it, and it should be fired up tonight. I don't know. I, I would really love to take it out tonight. i got to see how much nitrous I have because we've got the tight torque converter in here. It's super, super tight. It worked well with the big block on spray, tiny little 5.3. It, it doesn't, it, it takes a lot. <laughs> so on motor, it's just a complete turd. Uh, but maybe we'll take it out tonight. I don't know. We'll see how far along we get and if we've got any problems or anything we got to go over. But it looks like right now, fingers crossed, that nothing is wrong. Everything looks okay. And we should be good to head down to the racetrack tomorrow for the stock block shootout. Uh, maybe some grudge racing, whatever. We're almost there. We're almost there, I think. Matter of fact, let me, I'll grab this intake. We'll set it on right now. Some genius, when he took this apart, left it all together because he knew. It'd probably be way easier to do it this way. Hold on. There we go. Now we're lined up. Make sure we're not crushing any wires or anything. Bam. I mean, this and hooking the alternator up, just because of the way I have it wired, the alternator has to be hooked up. But hooking this up to fuel all that, we can fire this thing up really pretty quickly here. So we're gonna keep cracking, and like I said, we're 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 stupid close. Let's get it done. Let's get it fired up. Let's see what this thing sounds like. To, we've got it mostly hooked up and set up to the point where we can probably start it. I just want to, because it's been sitting for a while, we're going to flush the fuel system out real quick to make sure that's okay. Uh, we're going to clean a couple things up. It's not ready to run. We don't have the water pump hooked up and everything, but I just want everybody to see uh, all the hard work come to life. And then, then we'll start working on buttoning it up and I'm going to have to go through and probably, we'll probably do all this get it all hooked up, get it up to temperature, all that kind of stuff. Maybe just run it up and down the street a little bit. Um, 
because then I'm going to have to take it somewhat apart to retorque the head studs. So right now we're going to check the fuel system. It's pretty clean. Yeah, ain't nothing coming out of that. Nice. Go ahead and get that. fires up and runs. Oh man. The noob is back for me. We mess up our light. <laughs> it uh it's idling a little high right now. I'm not sure what's going on. It's like the, the blades don't want to close just quite all the way. So I gotta see what's going on with that. Um man. But check but me she runs again oh oh no it's it's in here you got that little magnet yeah we're gonna have to get that little magnet out is that little magnet over there oh yeah grab that she'll be right there Woo! what do you think boys if she's loud sounds good boy. sounds good yeah it's loud but it's, it's <laughs> definitely a, loud it's yeah. like open header <laughs> stuff right here so Definitely got some stuff to check out, but I feel good about the fact that we can probably go racing tomorrow. I don't see any reason why we can't. We just got to get this thing lined out, get it to idle a little bit better. All that kind of fun stuff. Whew. It runs. Good job. Good job, Nick. You <laughs> can. <laughs> Yeah, she's running, baby. So, all right, well, let's take a pause for a second, and we will enjoy this moment. Enjoy this moment, <laughs> but then immediately get back to work, because we got to go ahead and hook the water pump up, and uh, i got to figure out what's going on with this car, why it's kind of acting up like that. But, Fool's Gold lives again! Yes, sir. We probably won't spray this one as hard. We had a little bit of an issue with our nitrous line here, or our fuel line for the nitrous. I guess just from sitting outside, it got stuck. This doesn't want to turn anymore, so I had to hook this up, so I knew we were going to have a little bit of a vacuum leak, uh, which is probably not the end of the world because this thing always ran a little rich anyway, so. Just like that? Yeah. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. This one's easy. Yeah, I see. This, one, this one's easy because it's it was mostly... Uh, yeah, it doesn't take a lot to put this one together, but 
we got it running again. Now we're going to have to go through, uh, well, we're going to have to hook the water pump up, get it up to temperature, do all that kind of stuff, and then retorque everything. So we're going to take some stuff apart, retorque it, all that. But we're about ready to go racing. Take two. I'm not really sure what's going on with that camera and the audio quality, but it is absolutely horrible. I cannot put out this video without letting you guys actually hear what this thing sounds like. So here's a clip I took from my cell phone. Alright. debrief <laughs> I think that's gonna be it for today's video uh, we still got quite a bit of work I gotta hook up the, all the nitrous system again I've got to redo some stuff with the computer gotta hook up the fans again we got the water pump going I gotta get the fuel system for the nitrous and all that uh, good to go we gotta get the air out of the system I'm gonna have to retorque the heads all the head studs uh, all it was we for whatever reason our uh, our throttle cable got a little bit out of uh, out of alignment, I guess you could say. Not alignment. Out of whack. Yeah, the throttle cable was a little a little out of whack, so it was pulling really hard on the uh, on the throttle there. Once we readjusted that, it fixed it right up. You guys can hear it. It sounds great. I did my ghetto homemade check and make sure it's firing on all cylinders, which it is. Um, <laughs> man. I, if you guys don't remember, go back in the videos, watch all the videos. This is the turbo motor that I built. We took down, you know, gapped the rings, did all that, built it back up. We got the lifters, we got the push rods, you know, we, we did a bunch of stuff to this. Um, it sounds pretty healthy. I'm looking forward to, to taking it down the street and taking it to the track tomorrow. Should should make for a very good time. Um, it's not going to be as fast as the other car, but... It's it's gonna be fun again, so uh, I'm very uh, I'm very happy. Uh, I got I got no complaints. I mean, we still I gotta hook the alternator back up. Um, there's a few things here and there, but overall, I think we're gonna be good to go. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I love this car. This you know a lot of folks been asking online. Oh, do you still have it? You know, what are you doing with it? Blah blah blah. There's no grain plan for it right now. Um, but it's a very good car, and uh, I'm going to be excited to be racing it. I think it's going to be helpful if we can uh, if we can have this car and the other car up and running as much as possible, do as much racing as possible. That, that's going to be really helpful. Uh, I know how fast this one is. I have an idea how fast the other one's going to be. Um, we're going to have fun with it either way. We just got to pick, you know, where we want to go. Do we? Do we want to go someplace where this thing fits in a little better, or are we going, you know, that's going to be, that, that other car is like, we're going to dig or die, we're trying to win a hundred grand kind of stuff. We can have a lot of fun on the street, locally, and everything else with, with Fool's Gold, so. Oh yeah, what do you guys think? 
Happy. Have you ever have you ever taken a oh, no. mic from you know let's pull Take, this motor out, put another never. one in, and first uh, time. Nope. First time. It, don't get me wrong. Especially in a couple of days. They usually they don't always go this well. <laughs> yeah. But this is a. I'm happy about it though. Yeah. This is a setup that is. Uh, it's been in the car and everything, and we've had it working before, so it, it should. There really shouldn't have been any reason for it not to go super well. Well, the only thing that hung us up was a little bit of the throttle cable. Um, I'm really, I'm really happy. It sounds amazing. Yeah. It does sound really good. <laughs> it does sound, it sounds very, very good. So I got a, I bought a new tack today because we had to steal the tack out of this to put it in the other car and then we're gonna, so I'm going to have to hook that up. Yep. Uh, got to hook match. So we, we got some things to do, but... Now we can, a big sigh of relief, yeah. because it, you know, hard part's done. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of buttoning up and stuff, but we'll be all right. And we just got a fresh bottle of nitrous, too. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Loose juice. Very, very nice. All right, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Um, I would, we still got too much to do, and it's going to get too late and everything to, to finish everything up and then go make hits on the street tonight or something. Um, but it's okay, because we're going to the track tomorrow. So exercise a little patience. Let's not be in a rush. There's some stuff i got to go over anyway. And uh, I will take a race tomorrow. Those of you guys coming out to the US 13, they're doing Thursday night street fights or something. I think that's what it's called. We're going to go out this week and go out. Just they got a stock block shootout. We'll jump in that, see how we fare. It's you know cheap to enter, so it's not a big deal. It, it, it just gets us passes and gets us racing again and having some fun. Well, hopefully I'll see you guys out there. If not, don't worry. We'll have the whole video. We've been uh, actually by the time you guys see this video, we'll probably already be at the racetrack because we're actually kind of a little bit ahead of schedule on videos right now, which is a good thing. But uh, hell yeah! Thank you guys for the help. Absolutely, no problem. Absolutely. Right. So I guess tomorrow you guys will get to see yeah, get to see what the we full did. picture. Yeah. The full picture how it all works out. All right, guys, team on three. <laughs> oh, too much. This is what happens when you hang out with your brother who's 10 years younger than, than you and all of his friends. There's a serious age gap here. The, the video contest is going to be a little different. The video contest is going to be a little bit different. Yeah, just a tiny bit. But gummy bears all around. Let's go. I'll catch you guys next time. As always, thank you so much. And hopefully, I'm going to get a whole bunch of hate mail. People will be like, oh, now you're giving up on a Camaro. I'm like, no, like, I got multiple race cars. You know, I just make, I want to go racing. And that one, we got to get parts for. We gotta, it's going to take a little bit of time. This one, we could get running relatively quick. That one's days. coming back, for sure. So we're just going to bring it back a little bit. I also, like I said in the last video, I got some plans for this. Uh, some cool stuff we're going to do with it as well. So I'll see you guys next time. Let's get back to work. Yes, sir. All right. Well, the next video that was supposed to come out was going to be us racing this thing. Unfortunately, we got about 20 minutes from the track yesterday and it started raining. They canceled the entire event. Well, they pushed it to next week, rescheduled it, and then it's rained ever since. So we haven't been able to make any street hits on this, but we will. Don't worry, that's coming soon. We'll we'll start making some street hits and babying some nitrous through it. Not gonna go straight to 300 like last time. I wanted to say thank you guys for watching this video. And as a special treat for watching it all the way to the end, I will give you guys some of the information. The reason I haven't torn apart the Camaro yet is because we will be moving. Um, it doesn't make sense to have the car torn apart where we can, where we can't move it very easily. It's gonna happen very quickly. I'll tell you guys all about it next week. The next videos that come out, you guys will see all about it. Um, but that's why I haven't torn into it yet. Also why I thought it was a good idea to get the Nova running. It makes it a little easier if it moves under its own power. Thank you guys once again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Uh, it's a huge, huge deal to me because when companies come on and support our videos like that, that's what allows us to go ahead and turn and burn, get these cars that are broken, anything, get the parts we need, get it fixed up, make it happen a lot quicker than it normally would have if we didn't have that help. So make sure you guys use my link. Go download Raid Shadow Legends. Go check it out. It's a fun game. I've been playing it. 
uh, at night when I'm sitting up thinking about how am I going to make all this work. Thank you once again to them guys for sponsoring the video, and we'll see you next time.